What is going on guys? Welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby. So, when I was off screen, I actually did a whole bunch of crap. So as you can tell, we're back in Fallbridge Town. And, uh, so check this out. So, I grabbed some different guys from my PC. I basically got, I grabbed Big Gulp just because I went to go train. So I used Big Gulp to train up a little bit. And, uh, he's looking awesome. He actually evolved, if you haven't been able to tell. <laughs> he was a Wingo last time, now he evolved into a, uh, into a nice little pellet perk, so that's cool. Also, Ballin evolved. Got this guy at level 22. Uh, I just decided I would bring him with me, just because why, why not when I was training. And the main reason why I was training is this guy right here. Drunky. I call myself a Spinda. I don't care what you say. You can doubt me all you want. But I'm gonna use a Spinda. It, se it seems pretty funny. So, caught myself a Jolly Spinda. So that's pretty cool. I got it at level 24, just with the EXP share training and stuff like that. Then, we have this egg over here. It looks like it will take a long time yet to hatch. So I was carrying that around with me while I was, while I was training, but it doesn't look like I did very much at all. Jesus. I only ran in like a 10 foot space in some grass. Then I brought Camel Toe along with me, just because Camel Toe was in my box, and I was like, you know what, why not bring you along and get some experience too. So, that's pretty much what I did. Caught myself a Spinda to add to the team. So let's go ahead, check out my boxes, and we'll go ahead and create my new team here. I think I'm gonna switch Pelipper with Swallow, for now at least, because I do have the option with Surf and Fly with Pelipper, so that's pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and grab Pinhead, switch that with Camel Toe, then we'll go ahead and grab Nectric, or oh, Cornelius can join the team, and then Grovile will probably switch with our boy Ballin over here. So, we're gonna keep on carrying this egg around for a little while. We'll probably bring Ballin around with us once this egg hatches. We'll see what's inside. Oh my god, I totally don't know what it's gonna be. Just kidding, but uh, yeah. So this is this is gonna be this is gonna be the team for the moment. Also, we we went and got the uh, the go goggles last episode. We ended off on the last ep last episode saying that we were gonna go to uh, go to the sandstorm area, but I took a nice little intermission here instead. So now we're gonna head to the sandstorm area. We got to go all the way through. We got to go all the way through this damn grass though. So this is where I was training. I was just running right right here, just battling a whole bunch of spindas. Occasional Skarmories and Sandshrews and stuff like that, so that was cool. Anyways, we shall try to dodge all the grass. Oh, oh, oh god, we gotta go this way. Thank god we have not hit a wild Pokemon yet. That's a, that's a feat right there. Alright. So, Route 111. Where is that sandstorm area? Is it is it up over this way? I feel like, I feel like the sandstorm area is up over this way. We're gonna go ahead. Or wait, no, it's down past... We have to go through the fiery path, I believe. And then we can get to the sandstorm area. I'm not sure what's even what's even in the sandstorm area. Wait, can I go down this way? Is it this where it is, right? Yes! I found it! Alright, we put on our goggles and look at us. Looking swag in our goggles. Alright, so cool. Let's go ahead and explore around here a little bit. We can so I'm guessing the darker areas where you find the wild Pokemon or something. I don't know. What's what's going on, Pokeball? Found some Stardust right here, that's cool. That is quite helpful, and let's see what kind of wild Pokemon we got in here. I remember there being Trap Inch. Oh, definitely Ball Toy. Ball Toys. Nice. This is, this is like the only place you can find Ball Toy, I think, in like the entire game, so that's cool. Well, Ball Toy, I don't really want you, so... Let's go ahead and battle this guy. Does wearing those Go Goggles make you feel like some kind of champion for justice? How the hell are all these other people in this sandstorm without their goggles on? Like, shit. Your eyes must be all sorts of sanded up, homie. So this guy's got a sand slash. Nice, okay. First dude in this bitch has a sand slash. And this is my boy Pelipper. Check this guy out. He flaps around and he looks hilarious. I love this guy. So we're gonna go ahead and hit this thing with a water pulse. We're only one level higher, so that's actually perfect. The EXP share is on at the moment. Um, might take it off later, but honestly, we'll just leave it on for a little while. It can't hurt, so. Unfortunately in this place, the sandstorm does hurt you like every freaking turn, so that's lame. I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully this hit yourself, kill yourself. Oh damn it! Almost killed itself in confusion. Fury Cutter ain't gonna do a damn thing. Knock me down to 69 HP. Gig it, gig it, gig it, gig it, gig it. And uh, yeah, the air star and that thing uh, is going to die to a nice little wing attack. Big up grows to level 28. Look at this big baller trying to learn Brian. Nice. So Brian's a move that I believe doubles power if you go second. Yeah. Huh. If the target's oh no, if the HP if the target's HP is half or less, this attack will double. The power, not bad, not bad at all. Let's see though. So I'm gonna get rid of since I have air cutter. Might as well get a, get rid of wing attack. All about them special attacks, you know what I'm saying? 
top Pelipper rolls. So, we learned Brine. That's cool. I'm gonna use that for when HP is half or less, so that's neat. I guess I can't beat Justice. No, you cannot. So, we shall continue on this way. What is over here? Absolutely nothing, but there's some sweet jumps for my bike on the- Oh shit, this is- This is fucking my bike all up, man. <laughs> my bike was not enjoying that. Sup, bro. My eyes may sting a bit. My eyes may sting a bit, but I'm still having a picnic here. Wait, this is not the ideal place for a picnic. This bitch tripping. Picnicker hiding has a sand slash. Dude, do they just give out free sand slashes in this area or what? Jesus, where do I pick mine up? <laughs> So, Big Gulp is the right guy for this area. These water moves. Definitely coming in handy. Here he swipes. Ouch. Ouch. Why you gotta hit me so many times, you asshole Sandslash? This Pelipper has a dick load of HP and defense, so that's pretty awesome. Pelipper is just an all-around bad guy. So, unfortunately, I can't kill things in one freaking hit. I'm so close, though. To hell. And I'm just gonna brine you to see what this looks like, as your Fury swipes are going to hurt a little bit. I should have picked up some super potions or hyper potions or whatever at the damn, damn Pokemart. But, whatever. Brian is going to kill this Sand Slash. Not too bad. So it's going to be a while before we use our new buddy, our new buddy Drunky. Just because we can't really do much in the Sandstorm area. Pelipper looks like he's going to be our dude for this place. So, we shall continue on. What is going on over here to the left? Oh, wow, shit, what's going on? So there's areas you can walk that you don't get affected by the sandstorm to find, er, not affected by the sandstorm, but to find wild Pokemon at least. It's like, these lighter areas where there's like no grass. Technically, not grass, but same type of idea. This guy's got a graveler, sweet. This is just easy pickings for old Big Gulp over here. Unless you have Sturdy though. Let's go ahead and don't have Sturdy, that'd be great. Oh, damn it. Screw you, graveler. And it's gonna hit me with a rock throw. Ouch, that definitely fucking hurts. And then I get hurt by the sandstorm. Sorry about that, big gulp. I apologize, buddy. Let's hit him with a steel wing just to look cool. Just to show that our wings are fucking made of steel. We do not want to play games with our flappy looking wings. Our wings I feel like the wings on Pelipper are hilarious. Little Rick with level 30. Nice, nice. Captain Drew was defeated. Yeah, these guys' eyes hurt. Why couldn't I enter earlier if these people are fucking in here with their fucking bare eyes. Why couldn't I just be in here with mine? We had to wait till we got the damn... Had to wait till we got the damn goggles, huh? Well, we're gonna go ahead and use an energy root on our Pelipper. And we're looking solid, so we continue this way. What is over here? Is this like the other entrance? Okay, so this is like the other entrance where you would come in. So that's cool. We came in from the top entrance initially. Oh, wild Pokemon. Oh god, is there like sand dunes in this place now? That's pretty cool. So he found a Sandshrew. Get the hell out of my face, Sandshrew. I wonder if you can find Wild Sand Slash in here. That would be quite cool. Quite cool. I, don't know, I feel like there might be some rare Sand Slashes every once in a while. I'm not sure. Damn it. Almost get out of the freaking sand. And then I run into a Trap Inch. Nice. So if you're looking for a Flygon, this is the place for you. But since I just added a couple new members to my team, Thinking we're gonna leave it how it is for at least a little while. It's like, this is like a random platform. Is there an item here? Nope, no item. Okay. So, where the hell am I trying to go? I remember there's some fossils over here this way, maybe? I don't, I don't remember. Bug catcher, you are out of your element, bro. You're trying to show me how much you like goggles, right? I get it, okay? We obtained safety goggles. All right. So we got two kinds of goggles now. You can protect yourself from all kinds of stuff with safety goggles. Even though these things that I'm wearing look like glasses, they're actually goggles too. I doubt it. They just didn't want to change the <laughs> they just didn't want to change the appearance of that guy. Call his glasses goggles. For 30 years I've searched for ancient ruins. I'm so used to the sandstorms that I don't even need goggles anymore. So apparently sometimes when you come in here, I can't remember the whole deal with it, but like if you come in here on certain days, there's actually gonna be like sand castles that you can go into and stuff like that. So that's pretty interesting. It's kind of what this guy's talking about. This guy's got a level 24 ball toy. Very nice, very nice. Claydol is actually a pretty badass Pokemon. I remember I used to use one of those the first time I played Hoenn. Good times, good times. So that thing's gonna die to one hit. And Big Gulp grew to level 29. Bam, bam, 
I'm gonna get hurt by that sandstorm. Sorry, guy. Gotta get my damn pelper some goggles. Next is another sand, another sand slash. Jesus, there's these things are everywhere. Knuckles, knuckles all over the place. It's gonna hit me with a poison sting. Don't poison me, thanks. Oh damn it! I jinxed it. Good going, Aiden. I fucking jinxed it. So I'm poisoned as hell now. Cannot kill sand slashes in one hit with a water pulse. Just grinding my gears. Why don't you just die? Go ahead and kill you with a steel wing. Oh, he's gonna go for the crush claw. Ouch. And you're gonna lower my defense. Luckily, the sand slash was your last Pokemon, and that thing's dead as hell. Good night, sand slash. Alright, alright. Drunky grew to level 25. There we go, guy. You're getting there. I honestly just stopped training there because it was getting tedious. I was like, I'm sick and tired of training. So I, I stopped it at like 24. So, alright. That guy was defeated. What is over here? There's another dude going. There's another dude right here. I was gonna heal. I was gonna heal that poison, but honestly, I feel like we could beat this motherfucker without it. Wow, my eyes are crazy itchy. I should have brought some go goggles. By the way, I heard there are fossils in, to be found in the desert. Do you know where? I think they're all, something tells me they're all the way on the south side, I don't know why, or maybe they're on the top right, there's somewhere where there's, there's fossils here, I can't remember freaking where though, so this dude's got a Cacnea, nice, I forgot, you can actually find Cacnea here too, so that's cool, would not mind having myself one of those, although I don't really need another grass type, oh, avoided my freaking air cutter, now he's able to hit me with a faint attack, now I'm gonna get hit by the sandstorm and the poison, oh god. Awful day to be Big Gulp right now. Okay, um, so this is the only Pokemon this guy has. Let's just go for an air cutter, hope he kills in one hit, yeah? Do it. You got this. Alright, yes. So the Cacnea is going to die. Great success. Becky was defeated. Sorry, I can never tell if these guys are girls or guys. It's weird, it's weird as hell. I don't know, these things are... You picnickers, man. Alright, so let's go ahead and use... Go ahead and use a heal powder. It was all status conditions. Fuck yeah. Oh. And then we use another energy root. Since Big Gulp seems to be our guy getting us through this place. And alright. So, let's go check. Down over this way, maybe? There might be some sort of fossils. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for some fossils. Maybe there's. Oh, there's a TM down here. And it's TM37 for Sandstorm. I totally remember that being here. Okay, so that means if the TM for Sandstorm is down here, I remember there being something down here and then something up in the top right or something like that. So you know what? Let's go ahead. Oh, there's so much sand. Needs a little more sand here, though. You know? Not enough sand. Look, look at that. It's just weaving through rocks. Oh, found him! So here they are, over, over on the top right. You found the root fossil. You take this root fossil, no doubt the other one will sink into the sand. That never made, it, that never made any damn sense to me. Why the hell... Would it make the other one sink? Claw fossil. I'm gonna go ahead and take the claw fossil. Obtained a claw fossil held to the yeah. And that other one is going to go sinking? Oh no. Oh no. It is lost forever. So, that's cool. We got ourselves a fossil out of this little sandstorm excursion. So, that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and get out of this sandstorm area since we don't have the mock bike. We can't go up this thing, can we? Yeah, let me wheelie up it, damn it. Well, so that is relatively about it in the sandstorm area, unless you're looking to catch some of the Pokemon in there. And actually, let's see here, on our bottom screen, it shows us that you can find like Trap Pinch, it looks like a Cacnea, a Sand Shrew, and a Ball Toy, so that's kinda that's kinda cool. Alright, the Dex Nav hooks it up. And alright, so next order of business would be to go back talk to May, well, she will then bring us back to Petalburg so we don't have to like walk our asses all the way there, and then we're gonna battle Norman. Our dad is about to get destroyed by his own son. I feel bad for him. Let me just wheelie all the way over this way. All the way through the fiery path, not run into a single Pokemon. That's cool. And then we can go up this cable car, where I believe May will still be chilling in Lava Ridge, right? Cable car is ready to depart, but would I like to board it? You bet your ass I would. Take a nice little cable ride. Why is it see? Why is there nobody else ever using this damn thing? So we get our sweet little cinematic of us going up. You can even see the entrance to Fiery Path. That's pretty cool. They made this game exactly how I wanted them to. This is so awesome. All right, so 
we have now arrived. Very nice. So we do have to go all the way down this freaking mountain. That's like the worst part of getting to this town is that you have to go all the way down this bullshit. But whatever, let's do it. We're on top of Mount Chimney right now. Now we just basically gotta keep on going down. I think it actually, they make it relatively easy if you wanna get through it pretty quick. Have we battled that hiker? I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna go ahead and go down this one now. Wheeling down waterfalls like a fucking boss. And we have made it. Alright, that wasn't too bad at all. Thought I was gonna run into like a thousand Pokemon, but we have arrived back in Lava Ridge Town, where May is still waiting for us. You wanna go back together? Back to Petalburg? Yes, I do. Aye, aye. Then let's hit the road. Why would we have to go together? I don't know. Does May have some sort of fly? Okay, well, we just walked all the way across freaking Hoenn. That was ridiculous. Well, we made it in the Petalburg City Gym. Good luck with taking on the gym leader, Aiden. I'm cheering for you. Later. Alright then, so, May is cheering for us. That's about all we need. And uh, let's go ahead and hit the Pokemon Center, and then let's go check out what's going on in Norman's gym. Since it seems like we don't really have anything else to do. And our levels are probably going to be... Probably about right, honestly. Gonna get a nice little heal up here. I really want this freaking egg to hatch. When When is that gonna happen? Jesus. How long did they make eggs take? I need something with flame body. Seriously, Jesus. Alright, so, let's go ahead and enter the gym. It's kind of random that Petalburg has this gym. Like, why would they place this far of a gym in Petalburg? I don't know. Yo, how's it going, champ to be hidden? The doors in this gym open when you beat the awaiting trainers. Whoops, the doors in this room are already open, so don't attack me. Trainers of Petalburg Gym use all kinds of items. The door at the left leads to the speed room. The door to the right leads to the accuracy room. The room's name will be on the door, so choose carefully. So, oh, okay. This is, uh, accuracy room. Let's, let's go through the accuracy one. I don't know what that means, but... Alright, unless this guy is going to use sand attack a thousand times. Oh, hee hee hee. This is the accuracy room. It's pretty nasty when every attack lands without fail. You got like a Pokemon with no guard or what? Probably got him a chop. Or, yeah, okay, nope, Delcat. <laughs> so, that's that's cool. Norman's gym is the normal type gym. As you can tell, his name is Norman. So he's kind of normal. He's a normal dude. So this is perfect. Delcatty. Oh, he's going to go for that X accuracy. So basically, I, I kind of get it. I remember this now. So basically, every room uses X items. This bitch uses the X accuracy. And why doesn't Delcatty get fairy type? What the hell? That's a mind, that's a mind fuck right there. Totally should. Now it's gonna hit me with a sing. Oh god, see the X accuracy makes it so sing neck never misses. So that is what this bitch's plan is. Ah, okay, that's that's cool. Come on, big gulp, you got this shit. Don't be taking a double slap from no pussy cat. It's twice and I am still asleep. Since I didn't really hurt at all, I might as well just try to say in. Hope I'm gonna wake up next turn, maybe? Yep, it's gonna double slap me again. You'd think double slap would make an asleep Pokemon wake up. Does that not? I mean, it's kind of like wake up slap. It's like the same exact thing. So I do wake up. I wake up right as I was saying that. And then a water pulse is going to do not that much damage at all. This thing is level 28, so it is kind of. kind of a little bit scary, because I'm only level 29, but. Big Gulp's pretty solid. And Jesus, why you gotta hit three times with your double slap? Come on now. I hope you get confused. Oh, yes, you did get confused. Yes. <laughs> totally calling shit out today. That's what I'm talking about. I should have been using Brine, actually, after I got it past half. Whatever. And it doesn't hit itself in confusion, and it hits me with another double slap that's gonna hit probably three freaking times. Of course. They really gotta do something. Oh, four times. Wow, what the? Five times? Really? Double slap just hit me five times. If that ain't some bullshit, I don't know what is. So the Delcaddy faints. Big Gulp gets a nice load of experience. And Mary was defeated. You were a cut above me. You betcha I was. There are even more fearsome trainers waiting for you ahead. The defense room is on the left. The recovery room is to the right. Whichever way you go, your Pokemon's attack power will be on trial. Oh, shit. Let's go ahead and switch up our lead here. Who should we... Who should we put in front? Um, Drunky's only level 25. He's got some he's got some little EXP share grinding to do before we can start really using that thing. It does have Dizzy Punch, but unfortunately Dizzy Punch not is not a freaking fighting move, it's a normal move. That's kinda lame. Sign says recovery room. No, that sounds just awful. Defense room. Let's go through this one. Why not? What's up, girl? The higher my Pokemon's defense, the more reckless I can be with my attacks. Well said. Well said. So this lady has one Pokemon, and it's going to be a Lanoon. 
You would think it would be a Pokemon that's known for defense, but it's it's a damn Lanoon. What? What? This is actually also the first Lanoon we've even seen so far, so that's pretty cool. I haven't even seen the evolved form of Zigzagoon yet, so you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and Howl, raise my attack a little bit as this thing's gonna go for an X defense. That is perfect, because now I'm gonna go ahead and match that with, with an attack raise. So, ha! How do you like that, motherfucker? I'm gonna go for the Howl again, actually. Just because I can, and I want my Sparks to do a lot more. This is gonna go for Covet. Ouch. Okay, most random move. Covet is, Covet is the most random normal move ever. So now I'm going to hit it with a Spark. After two Howls, it's still not going to be a two-hit KO. That's fine. Now it's going to hit me with Fury Swipes. Ouch. Don't hit me too too. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. I got that static. See, when you use a move that hits more than once on a Pokemon with static, you can pretty much expect to get your ass fucking paralyzed. So that's going to hit me four times. Um, this kind of blows, because i got to go ahead and use... going to use an Energy Powder. It only restores 50, but that is completely fine. Cornelius, go ahead and heal up. As I'm hoping that this thing gets paralyzed. That would be ideal. Oh, yes, avoided it. Okay, perfect. That works too. Now I'm gonna go for the Thunder Fang just because this kind of looks cooler. And I need some damn special attacks. I have a physical attacking Manectric right now. That's awesome. <laughs> I have the most random team ever. I'm using, I'm using a motherfucking Spinda for Christ's sake. Spinda, Masquerade, Pelipper. No one uses these things. I love them though. I love my outcasts. So, the Lanoon is going to die. And Pinhead grew to level 31. And Big Gulp grew to level 30. Not too bad. Nice battle, Lori. Our defenses weren't enough. No, they were not. And you weren't very you weren't very reckless with your attacks either. One hit KO room, huh? I'm okay, so this is the one hit KO room over here. I'm gonna go ahead and say negative to that. This is the strength room. Sure, we'll go through that one. I'm not trying to get one hit KO, that'd be awful. So this is the last room before the gym leader, so that's cool. Our gym leader told us to pull out all the stops to beat you, even if you do happen to be the leader's own son. Damn, word already spread that I'm this guy's son. Ace trainer Jody has a Zangoose. Nice, nice. Alright, so this thing is a Pokemon with some strength. Cornelius over here. It's level 28, okay. So I'm gonna howl once as this thing's gonna go for an X attack, okay. See, it's like you could use X items, or you could just have a freaking move that just raises your attack. Just like me. So, okay, now that I, I got one of those babies, might as well just go for a spark now, maybe get a little paralysis going. Spark is a nice two-hit KO, is this going to go for the slash, which will hurt, holy hell. I did get the static though, so that's badass. And wow, a, sta a slash after an X attack does damage, holy shit. So the next spark is going to kill it, critical hit probably not necessary. That was a good game. Cornelius, you're almost to level 30. There we go. Drunky grew to level 26. That is what I'm talking about. But I went all out. You didn't go all out enough then, did you? The way you handle your Pokemon reminds me of your father's style. Go through. The gym leader, no. Your father is waiting. It is about to get real. Family, reu family reunion up in this bitch. Let's go ahead and, before we battle this dude, definitely get some drugs into our Pokemon. Go ahead and use an energy root. Get Cornelius looking nice and healthy. And you know what, let's just use a heal powder. Oh wait, no, not heal powder. Where, where was the other one? Energy powder, there it is. Use an energy powder on Pelipper, just in case we might need him. And let's get her done. Sign says, gym leader's room. See for yourself what Pokemon await you. You want to enter? Yes. I like, I like how they give you the option if you want to enter. You Sometimes you'd be like, no, no, no. I, I'm, I'm not ready. What is going on, Norman? This is a pretty sweet looking tranquility kind of place you got going here. So if I remember correctly, this guy has like a, like the, uh, the slack, the slacking evolution line or something. Then as I promised, we will have a Pokemon battle. Seems like not too long ago, we were just at this guy's gym, helping Wally catch a freaking rounds. What's up, guy? How's it going, Dad? Hey, dude. It makes me happier than I can really describe, being able to have a real battle with my own son like this. But a battle is a battle, I will do everything within my, within my power as a gym leader to win. You better give it your best shot too, Hayden. You better believe it. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to beat my own dad right now. I'm gonna go ahead and crush this dude's self-esteem. So this is Norman. He's a pretty, pretty handsome looking dude. You know where we get our good looks. So we're gonna lead off with a slacking. Jesus, okay, just coming at us like that. And this thing is going to be scary. He does have three Pokemon, so that's cool. Let's see, level 28 slacking, huh? 
Hmm, I don't think I'm gonna fuck around with Howling, honestly. I'm just gonna go for a Spark, see if I can get a Paralysis going here. So these things do have the ability Truant here, where after every time they attack, they have a, a time of, or a turn of loafing around. So he goes for the Yawn there. That's actually completely fine, because I'm going to go ahead and switch now, because I don't want to get... I don't want to fall asleep, and then I know that he's going to have a turn of being unable to attack here. So let's actually go into Drunky. Let's see what this guy can do. 69 HP, too. That's what I'm talking about. So the Truant makes him, so he's loafing around. Now, should I try to hit it with a Hypnosis? I'm going to try to go for it. Oh, shit. He used, he used Yawn. Oh, God. He just really wants me to go to sleep as I land the Hypnosis. Yes. Alright, that is perfect. Unfortunately, though, next turn I'm going to fall asleep. So that's that's kind of lame, but you know, yeah, we might as well we might as well just switch. Ain't nobody want to fall asleep, shit. Let's go into. I don't have anything with a fighting move. That is that is a bummer right there. That is a real bummer. So you know what? Let's go into Pinhead. Let's get an Intimidate off on this thing. Just so his attacks will do not too much. And this thing is still asleep. Thank you, Spinda, for landing Hypnosis first try. That never happens. I was taking a real risk there. It worked out. All right. So let's see here. I'm gonna hit this thing with an air cutter. Probably won't do too much. This thing is still sleeping. It's probably gonna wake up next turn, honestly. Burning mad turns of sleep. As my air cutter doesn't do too much. Shit. I'm only three levels higher though. And I'm a masquerade, so you know, don't expect too much of my pinhead. Looking like maybe one more might do it. It's gonna okay, it's gonna wake up, and he <laughs> woke up on the turn where it's loafing around. Ha! You suck, Slacking, as one more air cutter is going to take this thing out. That is what I'm talking about. Alright, so that went perfectly. Got a shit ton of experience. Cornelius grew to level 30. Wants to learn just Discharge? Hell yes! You're definitely going to learn Discharge. Let's get, let's get rid of Thunderfang. Spark always gets me paralysis, so we'll keep that thing around. We finally got ourselves a special attack? Hell yeah! Alright. Drunky grew level 27. You earned that shit, Drunky. And Little Root grew level 31. Sweet. So next is a Vigroth. So Vigroth. Let's go ahead. Let's bring in Big Gulp on yo ass. I would like to bring in Masquerade to get an Intimidate off on that thing later. If I really need it, but we'll see here. So level 28 Vigroth, this is the second form of Slacking's kind of evolution line. This thing this thing's actually better than Slacking, honestly. It gets Vital Spirit. It's like way fast. It's got that retaliate. Oh god, retaliate's a move. After one of your Pokemon died, it's a good, it's a good re revenge killing move. So nice, nice move there. And my air cutter almost does enough for a two hit KO. Now it's gonna go for another retaliate. That one's gonna do significantly less because he used it on a turn where a Pokemon didn't just die before him. So that's kind of cool. The air cutter is almost gonna bring it to the point where it's gonna die, but of course it gets him right down into perfect hyper potion HP. So. We're just going to go ahead and air cutter this thing again. Pelipper does not give a fuck, and I know that it's retaliate. And wow, critical hit on that one. Perfect. That means this next one is definitely going to kill. I can live this retaliate with a clean 8 HP. And big, big gulp. Just going to throw some air at this thing. Now it's going to die. So, very great success. Big gulp got a lot of experience. And the next is another slacking. Man, this guy's got slackings up the asshole. Okay, that's cool. So... I'm going to bring in Pinhead right away, just because I'm going to get a nice little Intimidate. He can't switch it out, so he's going to have to deal with the Intimidate. And it's a level 30. Oh man, the Big Daddy has come. Holy shit. So, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stun for yo ass. He's going to go for a Swagger, raise my attack, plus 2. But it's going to confuse me, so if I hurt myself, it's going to hurt a lot more than it normally would. Oh no, yes, and I land the Stun Spore, yes. So now I know that since this thing has Truant the next turn, he's going to be able to, he's going to loaf around like a nice little loaf of bread, meaning I can go ahead, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see, do I have any of those berries that heal confusion? Um, okay, heal powder, status heals all status conditions, wait, I know there's a confusion one, there it is, Prism, prism Berry, perfect, use that on Pinhead. Now I'm going to get rid of that confusion, meaning I still have that plus two attack, but unfortunately, my only really physical attack is Fell Stinger. So at least we get a little bit of stab on it. Let's see how much this does. With a nice little plus two, does absolutely nothing. <laughs> absolutely nothing. Physical attacking Masquerade was not the biz. All right, so hold on. He's going to have to go ahead and be all true it next turn. So let's bring in Drunky. 
Let's bring in Drunky's ass, and then if I need to later, I can bring in Masquerain, get another Intimidate, and then make this thing just completely worthless. So he is paralyzed too, so I'm gonna be faster. Perfect. Let's go ahead and land. Let's land a Dizzy Punch on this thing. See if we can get it. See if we can get it confused. That would be perfect. Dizzy Punch didn't do shit, and it didn't get confused either. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! And then it's gonna kill Drunky with a critical hit. Fuck you! How do you kill my cute little teddy bear? You, you asshole! You asshole! Well, let's bring back in Pinhead and get another Intimidate, as this lacking is actually pretty scary. This is the first gym battle with actually a pretty scary Pokemon, so that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and hit this thing with an air cutter to see how much that's going to do. And not, not too much at all, but luckily it's still Truant, so... Yeah, we saw it. Let me go for another air cutter. Yes, yes, slowly but surely. Masquerade shall win. And after that Intimidate, it's looking like it can't kill me with one more, so that's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I do not want to knock it to the Hyper Potion. Oh, oh god. I think I've just went and did it now. Nope, never mind. False alarm. He does not have any more Hyper Potions left. So one more Air Cutter. He's going to kill the Slacking. Fuck yeah, that is the biz right there. So, Pinhead goes to level 32. Wants to learn Silver Wind. Oh, yes. So, Silver Wind is a special bug attack. attack. Um, so, it may also raise all of the user's stats. So, we are definitely going to learn that. And honestly, I had the idea of using this thing as a physical masquerade. And it actually is kind of shitty because it's jolly. But you know what? Let's just get rid of Felstinger. Silver Wind will definitely come in handy a lot more often. So, I don't care what people say about you, Pinhead. I still love you. And we have defeated Leader Norman. He doesn't have shit to say. Impossible. See, $3,600. I can't believe it. I lost to Hayden. Yes, you did, motherfucker. You've come this far. You best, you best believe I have. If that's how it is, then. I will give you this. And he tosses us his weird-looking balls badge. That's cool. Why is your... Why is your... I don't know. I'm not even going to question the design of your badge. Whatever. Having that badge will ensure the Pokemon up to level 60, okay? Pokemon that know the HM move Surf will also be able to travel. Oh, yes. And this is my gift to you, Hayden. I'm sure you'll be able to use it well. And we get TM67 for Retaliate. Very nice, very nice. Retaliate will allow you to take revenge for a fallen team member. Its power will be doubled if you have a Pokemon. Use it in the very next move right after an ally faints. I hope you and your Pokemon will be diligent enough to use it wisely. Well, yes, of course. Sigh. He's like, damn, I'm pretty butthurt. I suck. As the gym leader, I can't express how frustrated I am. <laughs> but as a father, it makes me both happy and a little sad. It's odd. <laughs> Sorry, Norman. Didn't mean to whoop your ass like that. Come on, Hayden. Where? Where, where are we going? I'll, let you, I'll see you on your way. Let's get out of here. Alright then, cool. So he's gonna walk us out then? Alright, thanks. Oh, something's happening. Oh, would you look at that? It's Wally. Hayden, Mr. Norman. What's up? I haven't seen the two of you in some time. What a coincidence. I just came back to my parents' house to grab something I've forgotten. You look like you've been working hard, Wally. It's clear even without a battle. Really? You really think so? <laughs> Thank you. That's so nice of you to say. As you can see, Wally's health has thoroughly improved. All thanks to you and your father. You two helped Wally catch his first Pokemon that day. It's because of you that he has a partner of his own now. The partner is why he's grown so strong. That's my firm belief. So I thank you. Yes, that's it. Sometimes words aren't enough. It would delight me if you'd take this. And we got HM03 for Surf. Hell yeah, so we about to start surfing up a storm. If, you clear to, if you're clear to use Surf outside of battle, you'll be able to cross the seas with your Pokemon. Oh yes. Hayden, considering how much you and Wally have grown, you should be able to handle what lies beyond the sea on Route 118 now. There are far stronger Pokemon and trainers waiting for you on Hoenn's East Coast. Continue your journey and your adventures there. I know you'll do your best. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. I'll do my best to become as strong as Hayden, sir. I guess I'd better start out then. I'm off for now, Dad. See you next time. Come on, Hayden. Let's go together. So we're going to cruise with Wally, apparently. I look forward to seeing you and your Pokemon grow stronger together, Hayden. Well, take care of yourself out there. Don't forget to drop by Little Root to visit your mother from time to time. Yeah, probably not. I'll visit her when I'm a freaking champion. Learn a lot? All right. So, cool. We're going to head out with Wally then. Where are we going? Look at the two dads. Just all sad. Just having a nice fatherly moment. I don't know what it is, but... Seeing my little boy all grown up and going off on his own as a father, it makes me happy and a little sad. What a coincidence. I caught myself thinking the same thing. Look at this. Some, some fatherly bonding. 
only my, if only my boys, my boy keeps growing strong and healthy like that, I wouldn't ask for anything else. Yes, yes I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> it's funny they included that. Alright, so now we're going to start walking over this way with Wally's weird ass. Let me check my area nav. Route 118 is on the east of Mauville City, huh? Since we're both here anyway, let's go to Mauville together. I'm definitely planning on going to check on, check out Route 118, like your dad said. Alright, so we're going with Wally. We went with May on the way here. We're just going with people all over. Phew, it's actually pretty far, isn't it? All the way here to Mauville. So that must be Route 118 ahead. I wonder what kind of Pokemon I'll meet there. I can't wait to find out. See you later. All right. We're going to battle Wally next time we see him. So, all right, guys. We're going to end the episode here. Next time, we're going to go surfing. It's going to be totally tubular. <laughs>